Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, after two years, uh, when we were back in the, this uh, conference in 2019, it is great to see that uh, the uh, market of drones is growing. And uh, I think that uh, by uh, being here, it is my pleasure to show you also how Henschelt has been grown in the last uh, years. Now, the <clears throat> last presentations were all extremely interesting, and uh, we realized that there is a, a lot of work being done in the, in the drones, but in the drones area, but uh, we actually, as Henschelt, we are very, very much concerned about what we do with aerial threats and not with registered and uh, already existing drones. So I will not go very deep into Henschelt. You will see here that uh, Henschelt is uh, right now uh, <clears throat> uh, a, a large conglomerate of uh, companies which uh, has grown in the last uh, five to six years. Uh, we have a, a lot of uh, uh, experience in this uh, um, um, environment. And uh, we also have the green ties to show in our color here. So uh, based on that, uh, Henschel is uh, right now a company of uh, 1.3 billion euros. And we have approximately 5.6 thousand uh, uh, employees all over the world, uh, which uh, brings us into a very uh, um, um, important position in the sensor market and uh, allows us to be uh, invited into such drone conferences like this, uh, which we are very thankful. Uh, as you see here, as I said, uh, Henschel is uh, right now growing in uh, the whole of the world, and uh, we hope to grow much more. Uh, why not also in Hungary? Now, that was the green color, but uh, actually the counter drone activities are earth color because we bring them down. And uh, I would like to go here into uh, a little bit of information of, for example, the security challenges in Hungary, as we are in Hungary. We have, uh, Hungary has borders with uh, non-EU countries. Uh, there is uh, a need of drone detections where drones are used for smuggling. Uh, we have terrorist attacks that are always there, and uh, we need to be able to address them proactively. We have international airports with high tourist and uh, commercial and business uh, traffic. We have nuclear plant, we have uh, hydroelectric uh, resources, and of course we have VIP events that are currently and constantly growing. Uh, <clears throat> we have uh, really admired how hunger control has grown in the past years. Uh, right now we I identify hunger control as a, a key player, not only for Hungary, but also for uh, the complete Eastern European uh, market. And uh, we are definitely looking into uh, addressing and providing information and support to hunger control, uh, either in expertise or in technology matters, or of course, also in collaboration. On the other hand, of course, uh, the drone coalition that we uh, definitely welcome as an in initiative, we consider it as an, an excellent initiative of uh, uh, technology and, uh, 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 and uh, uh, expertise uh, a coalition that can definitely work and help not only uh, Hungary, but as I said, uh, the Eastern European countries and, of course, the EU, because as you know, the EU is trying to get uh, uh, a standard legislation for all of the uh, uh, drone activities uh, in the area. Uh, last but not least, uh, Henschelt has been uh, active in uh, uh, Hungary for the past uh, years. Uh, we have uh, uh, participated and supported the Budapest airport tenders. We have uh, promoted the expeller due, due to, uh, based on the previous uh, participation in the drone uh, conference and uh, ex exhibition. And uh, in the end, right now, what we do and what we have to do, and I will go into that uh, a little bit further into my presentation, is present standardized com uh, containerized solution, solutions, integrated solutions that can be used as a turnkey solution in every opportunity. Um, if everybody, anybody of this uh, audience was here uh, two years ago, uh, this was uh, our presentation and our uh, participation and attendance at that time. It was really quite impressive to see how uh, the uh, industry and the authorities of Hungary uh, uh, embraced uh, Henschel uh, participation. 
Uh, we had meetings with ministers, uh, with representatives of the border police, and of course we had presentation and security solutions of the expeller. However, we also had Unzare Geklasse, the, uh, the beast, as I, call, as I heard it today, uh, a, a, a mobile uh, solution, a mobile expeller solution, a mobile counter drone solution, completely uh, and, uh, and absolutely uh, integrated system that uh, is used for uh, detecting, identifying, and in the end also uh, uh, eliminating uh, aerial threats. A lot of uh, things said about the past. Let's go into the new handheld approach. I will just give you uh, uh, some uh, uh, information about the past. Henschel is, as I said, uh, a, a conglomerate of, of companies that manufacture and produce uh, uh, worldwide known and reliable sensors. Uh, the idea in the past was, okay, uh, we will try to uh, make something with one sensor, we will try to make something with a different sensor. However, the new Henschel approach is something that is completely different, is a solution in its own. So, in the end, as we are facing military, paramilitary, and civil uh, aerial threats, and not only, uh, when we're talking about military, we're talking about air and land bases, we're talking about uh, ground-based air defense. When we're talking about paramilitary, this is border, this is customs, this is fishery protection, not, of course, relevant for Hungary, but still. Uh, this is security services, uh, prisons, and law enforcement. And in the other hand, we also have civil for example, international and national airports, private airports as well, wildlife, uh, historic assets, uh, events, and energy and food supply resources. That is where we created uh, an, a universe of seven sub-segments sub that interest security solutions in, in its own, and we have created this, the complete environment to submit and produce uh, uh, the solutions therefore. So as you see here, we are talking about specific seven subsegments. We are talking about critical national infrastructure uh, where we, uh, uh, we want to protect uh, resources, we want to protect nuclear plants, we want to protect oil and gas pipelines, and of course, renewable uh, resources, which is uh, the next page in uh, energy uh, uh, um, uh, pro uh, production in the future. Uh, then we jump into military and civil border, which is not very relevant for drones, but still in the uh, 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 protection of smuggling and in the protection of uh, 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 illegal uh, information transportation from one country to the other. Uh, we definitely have the solutions to uh, uh, proactively protect a border. Then uh, the airports, as you probably know, there have been uh, quite a lot of incidents uh, that have grounded uh, airport traffic for, uh, for uh, weeks or maybe even months, uh, a, a situation that created huge costs and huge uh, situations for the uh, operators and for the countries um, who own and operate uh, these airports. And that is where uh, we come in with our solutions, being able to detect, identify, control, and act against rogue drones. Uh, uh, going into the fourth sub-segment, this is littoral and coastal security, but one of the most important uh, uh, regions in this is not only uh, 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 large water uh, bodies, but also lakes or river uh, uh, situations where uh, uh, the need of uh, uh, surveillance and monitoring of rogue drones is also very important. Uh, in the next sub-segment, we are talking about wildlife protection uh, against poachers, against uh, the actual animals themselves. So we have done a lot of projects protecting rhinos in Africa, protecting polar bears in uh, the, in the uh, Arctic region, and we are working at this, at this moment uh, in the Middle East for, this, for the same purpose. Uh, one extremely important uh, uh, aspect of protecting people against drones is the vents regardless of whether that is uh, a public uh, and official uh, event or, for example, a sports event or uh, um, an assembly of people uh, like, for example, the Oktoberfest in Germany where uh, a, an incident of a rogue drone flying over these people could alert and create a huge chaos in uh, the situation. 
And last but not least, it's force protection. Based on the uh, uh, US uh, um, description of this uh, um, uh, subsegment, we are talking about the protection of lives and resources in case of hostile operations. But uh, from its military side, this has changed into also civil protection. And that is where we come in and we offer military or uh, NGO camps, for example, in Africa or in uh, the developing countries. We are talking about UN peace peacekeeping operations and protection of the areas and the camps where uh, our uh, troops are based. After this huge slide of information, which I'm hoping to share with you later on, this is exactly where we come in the sensor fusing market. We are creating, as you know, as I previously said and mentioned, Henschelt has the capability of uh, producing uh, sensors and systems of uh, monitoring and surveillance of uh, high quality and high reliability. But in the end, it's the fusion of the sensors that creates the necessary uh, um, uh, um, yeast to, to build uh, trust and security into the uh, operators and the owners of such a system. Now, what we do is we take our radars, which are made for detecting the aerial drones. We take our EOIR systems, our electro-optical systems, cameras, thermal, uh, medium-wave infrareds, or long-wave infrareds cameras, whatever our portfolio has to offer, and is able to identify the drone against a, a bird or a flock of seagulls, uh, for example. Uh, then we have the capability of using uh, uh, spectrum monitoring uh, 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 products uh, who, who are able to control the situation, like jammers, like uh, radio direction finders. And finally, uh, we have the action. We have the possibility of offering hard kill or soft kill solutions where we can eliminate uh, and uh, destroy uh, the target uh, if that is allowed from the legislation of the country that we are offering. All of that, we are building into our own uh, co uh, command and control software suite, uh, and that command and control software suite can be e the subsystem, the sublayer of a higher level C4ISR system. So we know that uh, most of uh, the countries that we are active, they have our own, their own C4ISR system, either military, paramilitary, or civil, what we do is we are definitely offering a turnkey solution with our own sublayer of uh, software, building it into and integrating into the existing and legacy system of the country we are talking about or the customer that we are talking about. How is this is done? This is done by building all of our systems into containerized, sheltered solutions, as you can see here, or in solutions that are uh, uh, a, a deployable like a mast, like a trailer, like a vehicle, together with our Vader drone, which is the uh, uh, soft kill solution that we have to eliminate an aerial threat. The whole idea about our expeller solution is the expeller concept, as you see here. It's the detect with the radars, it's the identify with the cameras, it's the control with our command and control systems and our uh, radio direction finders and spectrum monitoring systems, and in the end, the action. And all of that ends up into case studies that we do for every single situation. In this case, we are talking about, for example, critical infrastructure protection. Uh, as you can see here, we have a rogue drone flying into a nuclear plant. This is exactly what we do. We identify the solution, we identify the, the problem, we make our study, and we offer a complete system of sensors, of, uh, of uh, spectrum monitoring systems, of, uh, uh, com of the command and control center, and obviously we are also able to integrate systems that come from the specific uh, environment from the specific country that are eligible to be integrated into our system and that fulfill the requirements of then a specific target. In that sense, we go forward into airport security, where in this case, we need to protect incoming outgoing flights. We need to be able to know when exactly a drone is present and in that case, be proactively ready to block that drone out of the airfield, out of the area of, of the critical area of the, uh, of the airport, so that we can be safe and sound into any operations traffic. That is where ATC is thankful for our systems, and that is what we work together with ATC. 
And last but not least, no, no, excuse me, this is not the last, this is safety at events. Uh, we are here at a fantastic stadium, the, uh, the Pushkas, uh, uh, Pushkas Stadium, and uh, we have, for example, an Olympic event where we do not need drones flying over uh, the area. This is exactly where our systems come in. They are deployable. They are semi-deployable if necessary. They can also be offered as, a, as an additional solution of the existing security system of the stadium and can be dismantled and uh, uh, removed from site and used in a different application when the police or the security forces uh, are in need of uh, such a system. And there we go into the last system that is definitely requiring uh, for, uh, protection from aerial uh, asymmetrical threats. Uh, this is a military camp, for example, and we have drones which could carry a dirty bomb, which could carry a, 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 a fragmented uh, uh, projectile, uh, which can create a huge uh, amounts of damage, uh, not only to uh, human lives, but also to our resources. And that is where we also can offer a, s a complete system of uh, uh, an EOIR system, an EOIR sensor with a radar and a jammer that can completely safeguard the area around uh, the, um, uh, the camp and uh, pro provide the safety to the uh, troops or to the uh, uh, um, um, uh, human lives that are uh, uh, in this area. Um, I think I did not exceed my time, and uh, I, that is, uh, I tried to bring uh, everything that Henschel can offer in, uh, this, uh, in this small presentation. Uh, we are definitely uh, looking forward to discussing uh, a, a more uh, information and more, uh, de in more detail about uh, the uh, uh, interesting subject of drone protection in this uh, audience. Uh, we definitely... Uh, um, urge you to come to us and ask and talk to us uh, for any uh, reasons of interest. And uh, with this, I'd like to thank you all and uh, hope to see you soon in the next uh, drone uh, conference. Thank you.